At the end of last week's Torah portion, we read about one of the most relevant laws in day-to-day -day Judaism, and that is the laws of kosher. The Torah went through the various animals, birds, fish, the qualifications, a listing which animals are kosher and which animals are not. And as we begin this week's Torah portion, we begin to read about one of the least, what seems to be one of the least relevant laws in the entire Torah. And that is the laws of the tsara'as. Tsara'as is a skin condition somewhat similar to leprosy. And the Torah goes through all of the details into what is considered pure and impure, who's considered to be afflicted by the tsara'as and who is not. I came across a beautiful idea by Rav Moshe Sternbach, who suggests why it is that these two laws are back to back. Why it is that we read about the laws of kosher and then the laws of tsaras. And what he points out is that the Talmud shares that tsaras is a spiritual affliction. It is a punishment for lashon hara, for evil speech, for speaking bad about one another. A person would be afflicted with this spiritual condition known as the tsaras. And Rav Sternbach explains that last week's Parsha, we read about what goes into our mouth. We read about kosher foods. We read about what we may and may not consume. In this week's Torah portion, we're reminded that just as we're careful with what goes in our mouths, we must be careful with what comes out of it. Someone commented to me this week how as we come towards Pesach, there are many people in our community who may not be very particular with the laws of kosher throughout the year, but when it comes to Pesach, they make sure to be more scrupulous, to be careful that everything in their home is kosher for Passover. As we spend this time of the year so focused on what comes into our mouths, may each of us internalize the lesson of this week's Parsha and be equally focused on what comes out of our mouths. I wish you all, as always, a wonderful Shabbos.